Digipedo's ex-girlfriend made a video about why she ended her relationship with him, and to nobody's surprise, the main reason is because he had no consistency whatsoever. Me and Digi have split up. I had enough. All aspects of our relationship had started to, like, fall apart. She stopped trying to pretend to care about certain things that she would have if she was a man. She did tell me that she needs a man in her life. The emotional weight of hearing that, I felt really empty. What the polite way of saying he got bored of girls and wanted to taste boys. That aside, it's also because they weren't agreeing anymore, which means the person she fell in love with and became his yes but was completely gone. We are not working towards the same future, and that became pretty much apparent after the transition. My goal was, I want to revive Digibro, I want to make this work, and on the other hand, she's over here like, oh, I want to invite all of these internet creators at my house, and I want to network with people and do this thing. But I'm like, I want to pay the taxes, I want to make things right, I want to have a family, I want to buy a house, and she wants to travel the world. But someone else was a person she couldn't trust, because his friends were all toxic and dangerous. Digi had invited over some other internet creators to stay at our house kind of indefinitely, even though I had a lot of problems and concerns with that decision. They do kind of have a history of saying creepy things to other internet people. Didn't feel like I had any control in the situation I was in, and it just was not really a good place for me. I felt really kind of scared and alone and, and not really safe. They were so dangerous, one of them tried to abduct her in their very house. Our house was broken into. It is somebody who follows the PCP and follows Digi. I was assaulted. He tried to put handcuffs on me, tried to duct tape me. I don't really feel like the police are going to be able to do much about the situation just because it's so weird. She tried to help them, but they didn't listen because they are relativists and pedos. I had done everything I could in my power to kind of help Digi uh, get their career on track, you know, get the professional help they needed from counselors. I just wanted to hang in there and I was hoping things would get better. After a certain point, it's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. You're just not the person that can help this person or what they want. Funny thing she mentions a horse when he has sexual fantasies about horses and ponies. And now I'm gonna criticize her for a mistake she did and didn't realize soon enough. I was 23. I wanted to leave Rochester because I have some bad memories here. I want to see the world, you know, I'm 23. What a great reason to want to be in a relationship. Because you want to leave your boring hometown. That's not gonna backfire in any way. Also, nice double standards. You wanted to see the world and it was fine when you did it, but when Digipedo wanted to see the world, you were against it. All of it is so stupid. It's just all you can do is laugh at it at a certain point. We choose to make ourselves clowns so other people can laugh at us. Indeed.